Does he know which one is next? County Road Animal Rescue in Waynesboro made an appointment to surrender eight strays to Nashville Humane Association to be adopted out. It's about a two hour drive to Nashville, something County Road Animal Rescue volunteers make once to sometimes twice a week without Nashville Humane's help. These dogs would be probably run over or, or shot. A lot of people shoot them when they come on their properties. It's busy like this many days at Nashville Humane Association, especially now because people are out of work and now need to surrender pets as they can no longer care for them. Or Middle Tennessee shelters are overwhelmed due to underfunding or understaffing because of COVID-19. We have shelters that are showing up to our door, please help us. So every day we take in anywhere between 20, 30, 40 animals, and then we turn them out into foster or they go into adoption. The pandemic hasn't been the only situation creating the need for Nashville Humane's help. We had a tornado that led into COVID. Um, so we really had to think on our feet how do we provide support? So we ramped up our food bank to provide more support for our humans in our community. We also started to do um, adoptions by appointment and curbside adoptions. And I can say that we have done over a thousand adoptions since March. So usually annually we do anywhere between 4,000 to 5,000 adoptions. So to do a thousand when other places closed is astonishing. Plus there's been animals displaced from natural disasters like wildfires and hurricanes. The Humane Society of the United States relies on its partnership with Nashville Humane to take impacted animals like these brought to Nashville in August during Hurricane Laura. In fact, Nashville Humane's helping hands regularly welcome animals from beyond its state borders. Mississippi regularly, almost every two weeks, they have a lot of puppies. Um, Alabama, a lot of the southern states, the furthest that we've transported was Puerto Rico, which is part of the United States. Um, that's, you know, overseas, we have to fly them here. We are running faster and running harder. <laughs> Since the pandemic, Nashville Humane's medical staff, because of their expertise, have been handling more sterilizations, critical medical cases, to animals who need specialized care before being adopted out. We've had to come in and do emergency surgeries. We are still in situations where there are many, anim many drugs and products that are on back order, meaning they aren't available now and we don't know when they're going to be available. Um, luckily, in the veterinary world, we're pretty good at MacGyvering, and so we've been able to uh, do different things and think outside the box in order to make things work during this time. Hey, baby girl. Also making things work during this busy time at Nashville Humane, volunteers. I know. Oh, yeah. Puppy kisses. Like Kara Sutcliffe, who foster animals. I think what's touched me most about being a foster with the Nashville Humane Association is just how much every single one of them cares about these animals and about all of us who also care and the network they've built to um, facilitate what they do. The Nashville Humane Association are heroes because they save lives every day. Um, animals and I think probably there are people out there whose lives have been saved um, because of their companion animal. They are superheroes. They are fantastic. I love coming here every, every time I come here because they're so friendly, they're, they're happy to see you, they're happy to get the dogs. Wherever the community needs us and as long as we have the funds and means to do it, we're going to do it. So we honor Nashville Humane Association and its staff as our News 2 gives back hometown heroes for the month of October, presented by TriStar Health. As staff continue to help and support shelters and take in animals during natural disasters and COVID-19, with the goal of finding loving homes for these animals in their care. If you'd like to help Nashville Humane Association by making a donation, adopting, fostering, or volunteering, visit NashvilleHumane.org.